Now we want to turn back to meteorologist Cedric Haynes here in the studio for the latest on our forecast. And Cedric, of course, you, we're, we're paying attention. You listened last time we were listening, you uh -huh. said cooler temperatures, but yes. also rain chances. And so some changes on the way. Some changes on the way, but these are good changes, okay. of course, because we need some rain. Okay. And if you don't like the warm weather, like what we're going to experience the next couple of days, the fall weather fall will weather. return. Yes, I know you've already got those fall outfits out, Latrice, so yeah, you get to bring them back. I have a sweater today, right? Yeah, yeah, you needed it this morning, not this afternoon. <laughs> hey, but there you see it. Blue skies outside in downtown Chattanooga there. We've got blue skies as well over towards uh, northeast Alabama. I wanted to show you our Mr. Electric camera because you can see, again, we call that cobalt blue skies in the weather world. Just a beautiful, gorgeous day to be out on the water, and it feels pretty good as well. 71 degrees currently in Chattanooga at the airport with that sunshine. Again, pretty dry air in place across the area. So we had some scattered clouds earlier today. Those are basically kind of dissipated now thanks to that dry air. And you can see these numbers looking pretty nice. Our friends over in Scottsboro sitting at 72 degrees currently, 70 in Lafayette, Calhoun, Dalton. Good afternoon in Cleveland. You're sitting at 72 degrees, 69 for our friends in Athens and 69 in Murphy, 66 in Blue Ridge and in Altamont as well. Now we're watching the winds. Currently they're fairly light. We've got them out of the south and west, anywhere between about five and 10 miles per hour across the area. But as we go throughout the afternoon, very similar to what we saw yesterday afternoon, when you step out the door, you may notice that gust of wind coming in. It's a southwesterly wind, so it's fairly warm, but notice it could get up to 20 to maybe even 25 miles per hour this afternoon. So that is something we'll watch, and then we'll see those winds calming down again as we go into the evening. But just be careful if you're thinking about doing any outside burning. Just know that if you need a permit, check on that. And then also, of course, if you uh, are doing any of that, just keep an eye on things there because with the dry moisture, ground fuel, it could lead to some of those brush fires. All right, let's talk about the rest of your afternoon. Again, sunshine with a few clouds moving in later in the day, but overall very nice mid to upper 70s. And again, I think a few of us will likely touch the 80 degree mark as we go throughout this afternoon. Only issue again is that little breeze that will be kicking in out of the south and west and then even going into the evening hours, it stays fairly mild. So overall, any of your outdoor plans, it's going to be a pretty nice day and nice evening for most of us. 76 degrees for a high today in Athens, 71 in Altamont, 74 in Murphy, 78 Cleveland, about 80 degrees in Dalton, 77 in Fort Payne and in Scottsboro. Now let's talk about the weather changes heading our way because you heard me mention that a little earlier. We're watching, of course, the system that brought us to below average temperatures last weekend continues to move away. So that's flattening out our jet stream. So that means a west to east or a zonal flow, and that typically means quiet and warming weather. But we get that flow coming in out of the south and west that brings in moisture in the form of clouds and eventually rain chances across the area. Then our next cold front moves in by the time we get towards this weekend, bringing in another surge of below average temperatures across the region. So here's what we're looking at on the weather map right now. Just this front falling apart across the area. High pressure bringing in the warmth across the area from the Gulf of Mexico. But as we go into the next couple of days, something we're going to be watching closely. We're going to actually watching two systems that's going to affect our weather. This area of low pressure developing here in the Bay of Campeche could bring us a chance of rain. And then the remnants here of Lydia could also bring us a chance of rain. So that first low pressure system as it moves by again, not expecting much out of this, but clouds increase late tonight. And notice as we go into your Wednesday, the chance of a few showers, primarily south of the city. I think over North Georgia will have that best chance of showers with that first system as it kind of moves on through. A wider view of this shows you where the heavier rain will be with that system, mainly south of the I-20 corridor. And then as we go into your Friday, that's when we get that second low pressure along with that front that could bring us our next chance of showers. But as far as amounts, about a tenth to a quarter of an inch. So not as much as we'd like, but hey, it's something. Let's take a look at your Storm Alert 7-day forecast. 80 degrees today, Latrice, but then notice those rain chances ramping up by the end of the week, followed by much cooler weather once again heading into next week. Thank you so much there, Cedric. Mm -hmm.